What's going on, guys? Spaz here. Welcome to my channel. I told you I was going to record a vlog or attempt to record a vlog. I don't know if you guys can see my left eye. It's like twitching. Maybe I need to eat more bananas. Um, that's bananas in French mixed with German and Russian. Some weird variation of spaz speech. But it keeps twitching. Like, I don't know. It's weird. Anyways, I told you I was going to try to record a vlog and tell you what had happened. A lot of people are still confused as to why I just up and left. Some people are really pissed off. I've gotten a few messages from people that, you know, I'll say, I'll never forget some of the words people have shared with me as to how I handled the situation. And I've tried to record this type of vlog, even tried to record post commentary over gameplay footage, and I've never been comfortable with what I've said. Sometimes I share too much, sometimes I don't give a good enough explanation, but I've realized that, uh, you know what, I'm, I'm not going to try to search for understanding because trying to find understanding on the internet is like trying to find that hot chicken a beer ad. It's damn near impossible. So I'm just going to speak my truth as to what had happened and give you guys an idea as to what's going on or what, you know, what, what my plans are or whatever. Um, you know, there's two main reasons as to why I uh, disconnected from YouTube and pretty much the entire world. Some of them are external. Those two reasons are external. But keep in mind that overall, it was all on me. I'm not going to find an excuse. I'm not going to try to say, you know, oh, well, poor me. Woe is me. This happened and that happened. And that's why I left now because external reasons in the end, they don't really control how somebody is internalizing, you know, whether it be a negative or positive factor in your life. It all comes down to the person that's perceiving it. Um, but I, I hit an all time low right when I decided to quit. And I've talked about some of the things I struggle with on a day to day basis in other vlogs. And it was magnified to the point where I, I felt as though I had lost my mind. And in fact, I did lose my mind. Um, kind of a crazy person. A lot of the things that, you know, were, were going through my mind, I never want to think about again. And hopefully we'll never go down to that part of negative town again. But who knows? It's, it's a part of my um, structure as a person. It's, it's part of my personality. It's a part of the way my mind works. And it just got to a point where it was so amplified that all I could do was walk away and completely disconnect. And I even, in fact, disconnected from the majority of the world, I guess you could say, because um, I don't know if anybody's ever experienced where you completely lose yourself and you don't even know how to define yourself. You don't even know who you are. And a lot of the things that you've done in the past or your past overall, you're like, man, was that really me? Was, was that who I am? I'm so confused. I have no idea anymore. And that's what happened. I hit an all-time low and, and lost, lost all the marbles in the old noggin and, and had to go attempt to find them. I think I found one or two to where I'm somewhat functional now and, and can attempt to record these types of videos and other types of videos. But I'm still slowly and surely trying to figure out... Um, figure it all out. And I think that's the human condition, right? I'd rather have this experience than um, some other experience. And in all honesty, I think people have had similar experiences. I always say, I don't know if you have had these experiences, but we're all human. We're all um, in a way flawed. That is the human condition. And, and what had happened, it, it was, you know, is what it is. I'm not going to label it as good or bad. Perhaps, you know, that's for somebody else out there to decide, not me. And I'm done labeling things as good or bad or beating myself up over certain things because I do it, as I said, on a day-to-day -day basis as is. So two reasons that may give you a little bit of perspective as to what was going on with the channel that fueled that decision to walk away. One was a issue that I've had on my account or had. I've recently had to abandon the fight. I had a record label company claiming content on my video for over five months, essentially deliberately jerking around my account with frivolous claims even though I had proper permissions to do what I was doing. And, um, you know, over the summer, I even had to go out of my own way to speak with local attorneys about the issue. And um, it just became a nightmare. It became an absolute mess. It was a constant fight, a constant argument between myself and whoever was claiming content on my video. And, and I got really fed up with the way Google or I believe it's pronounced Google in France or parts of Canada. I'm not sure. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. I was very just discontent with how they were handling the whole process. And through it, I learned that I was naive when I started doing this. And I was very naive with what I thought Content ID System was and YouTube's stance on copyright or copy wrong, depending on how you feel about it. And I learned, though, that in the end, um, unless you're a multi-million dollar channel, they really don't care how Content ID disputes are settled, in my opinion, as I've seen through my own personal experience. I'm not speaking on behalf of other people out there that do participate in content creation, but they don't care how the dispute is settled because in the end, they do take their cut of the ad rev structure. 
and I just became very disheartened with the whole process and um, it was it was just a nightmare. It was so frustrating and I've never been that pissed off about something in my life, but I've eventually had to, to just let go because you know what? The only people in this world that fight over things like that are those who live in fear. If you have nothing to fear, then you have nothing to fight about. And, you know, I got to the point where when you completely lose your entire sense of self, right, you completely hit bottom. You realize that there is nothing to fear. And, and I'm not going to argue with pseudo attorneys that um, shark or, or prey on certain accounts that may not have financial backing to defend themselves. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to participate in that game. I can focus my energy elsewhere um, and that's kind of where I've gotten to with, with what had happened. Um, hopefully all this makes sense. Sometimes I feel as though I talk about stuff and I'm like, yeah, that's logical. That's logical. But it's, it's only logical to me, right? I could try to do this and talk about it to some people and be like, this fucking dude, this dude, yeah, a, little, a, few, a few screws loose in that uh, brain of his. The brain pan is, is a little polluted with just his ideas. Um, <laughs> But that's one main reason. Uh, it sucks, right? Because I want to work with specific content, but I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can do that again and, and try to go through those types of arguments. Some people say that's why you network, but I've never been comfortable with networking. I don't want to commercialize this thing. I don't want to make this into something more than it is. And all I am is just a dude that plays video games on the internet. And it's something I've done for the majority of my life. And it's the thing I love to do the most in my life. And, and giving up control over my account and, and giving somebody that I haven't met and never met face to face control over my account and a split on on the revenue I'm making, I've just never been comfortable. Maybe in the future, I don't know, but it's just been one of these things that I've talked about in other videos that I'm just not comfortable with doing. Now, the other reason, because I don't want to take up your entire week with this blog, as to why I left is um, outside of the internal things that were going on, like I said, one last external thing. I started looking at my analytics around the year mark, and this is when I started to have my mind explosion, uh, mental collapse. I started looking at analytics, and I started to realize that there was no prayer for this channel to really have sustainability in the way that I imagined it to. At a year mark, we had grown the channel to over 50,000 subscribers, and I believe it was at about 6.5 million channel views, which if you were to add up all the time people have spent watching videos on this channel, it totaled 75 years in duration, which is humbling. I mean, that is just mind-blowing to me that people have spent a total of 75 years watching my content. That's cool. That's really cool. And I thought I was close, right, to being able to, um, like I said, have independency. But um, to give you guys a clue, and I can't share uh, CPM or what I made per click because I believe that is a violation of my contract with AdSense. But to give people a clue, as I can share aggregate amounts, and it's not wise to ever share financials with strangers or people over the internet, but I do need to peop have people uh, be aware of what's going on on YouTube if they want to pursue a similar thing. Um, somebody posted a comment on yesterday's video in which I said I wanted to fund a new machine, and they said, oh, well, you're, you're making more than the average worker. And it's, it's unfortunate that it's a common perception that all of us YouTubers are just rolling in dough, and it's not really the truth. Uh, to give you guys a clue, back to my original point, I have yet to make five figures from this project. And at the year mark, I didn't even make three quarters of five figures. And that's tough. That is very tough to to live on that type of, of um, pay structure. And, and this wasn't really about the money, right? I, I, I've learned over the last few years of my life that I I value more things than money. But it got to the point where, you know, you, you can't afford simple things or, or necessities. And it's like, fuck, okay, well, if I've grown to this part or this in, in a year with God knows how many hours, and I mean, I dedicated my life to this channel, I don't know if I can do this and or how I can do this. And, you know, I had considered doing Patreon at the time and even doing apparel but what had happened to my mind and where I was at personally, I just became so exhausted that I couldn't make a decision. Like it was this, this time period of complete indecision and being uncomfortable, unsure of myself, a lot of confidence issues when I realized that even though I felt as though I was accomplishing a lot, it just wasn't really, um, wasn't really presenting itself. And maybe I should have toughed it out. Maybe I should have stuck it out and, and stuck with it. But I believe everybody in this world has a breaking point and maybe I'm a weaker individual for hitting mine sooner than most, but I hit a point where I was like, shit, 
along with the things that were going on in the old noggin, I've got to disconnect. And, and that's what happened. That, that's, that's the, the short and sweet, maybe not so sweet and or short, but that's kind of what had happened. Now, what I'm doing right now, honestly, I've, I've been, as I said, finding myself, not to sound cliche or weird in a way, but I, I'm comfortable with where I'm at. I'm very fortunate to have amazing friends in my life and um, oh, an amazing family too that I'm okay. I'm, I'm okay with where I'm at and what I'm doing and um, I'm just going to do what I want to do and, and upload some things that I think may be unique and, and that may be it. And unfortunately for some people out there that constantly ask for Payday 2 content, all I am playing right now at the moment is Battlefield 4 and I do sesh pretty hard in Diablo. Something I haven't recorded and the reason I haven't recorded Diablo is because I don't feel as though I'm really versed in that game enough to share information or try to give you tips or tricks and I don't even know if the demographic for this channel would be interested in that type of content. Perhaps in the future it'll be something I will stream, something I've been putting consideration into. I've also been considering finishing out a playthrough that I had started or even picking up another one but as I've learned over the last few months and taking my break is uh, a character flaw as some people may may put it uh, as it may be labeled by some. I go, go, I go for broke a lot, right? I, I start something and I just go hard on it until I exhaust myself. And uh, I've learned that I can't do that again. So what I'm doing is recording when I'm playing. A lot of times I'm playing with friends. And if I have some thoughts about things, and, and, and right now it's just Battlefield at the moment. This isn't going to become just a Battlefield channel. I have no interest in becoming a mouthpiece. I know I'm not supposed to use that word as my friends say me, tell me not to. I'm not going to be a mouthpiece for any particular game or franchise, but that's what I am playing right now. And, you know, that that's that's what I can handle. And I apologize if people, you know, it is a compliment in a way. Hey, play more Payday 2. I play, my, you know, you need to play this more. I, I just can't wrap my mind around that game. The, the amount of work I did for the content on my channel. I published over 100 videos. I just transferred data from this machine to an external device. I already have another external device, a terabyte of data that is full from recordings or edited videos or whatever it might be from this channel. But to give you an idea as to the amount of uh, workload that was just on this machine, I had over 1,300 raw videos of Payday 2. Some, some of those might have been edited, some might have been commentary. I put a lot of effort into that game, so much that I burned myself out. And maybe that was my mistake of letting myself get to that point. But I can't wrap my head around that game right now, just the thought of it. Uh, it reminds me of, uh, of so many negative things that it was unfortunate that I let a game become something more than it was. And, and in, a way, in a way, it was what I defined myself by and obsessed over and became insane about. And I don't want to do that again. And I'm just burned out on that game, so I think a lot of people are going to be turned off by that. They're going to be upset, but it is what it is. I can't do anything more than tell you that I'm not going to play it. You know, that the ball's in your court. Whether you accept that or not, I have no control over. And people will still badger, regardless as to whether I do this or 5,000 other videos explaining why I'm not playing Payday 2, Payday 2 or why it's not installed. There will constantly be people that will say, hey, play more Payday 2. And whether they're trolls or whether they're just badgering or whether – they're ill-informed or uninformed as to what had happened, I'm not going to put any emphasis or focus on that. I, I believe it's just going to happen, and, and things happen just because they do. There's no other reason for it than that, so that's where it's at. Um, anything else I want to talk about? Some people have asked about the beard. I did shave on the first of the year. Oddly enough, I usually don't participate in, in things of, well, on the first of the year, it's usually people delaying any motivation to to do anything. I, I decided to shave because I usually forget as to when I shaved. I don't know if I'm going to grow my beard out to a length that it was before. It becomes unmanageable. And uh, a lot of people look at you as though you are not sanitary when you get it looking like I had. Uh, but I am kind of growing a beard back out. Haven't really uh, shaped the stubble yet. I don't like stubble beards. Have you seen that guy in his beard? That's not a beard, bro. That's stubble. Um, but yeah, that's that's all I really have going on, guys. I'm doing what I can, playing what I want to play. I'm trying to have fun with this. And then, you know, I, I'm tossing around different ideas, as I suggested in yesterday's video, that, you know, perhaps I will start a Patreon campaign. Perhaps I will do this. I've considered doing streaming again. I've considered doing other things. But I'm not going to jump head first into this thing and burn myself out, go a 1,000 miles an hour into a brick wall like I did, and have another mental collapse. Uh, I'm I'm just 
trying to be me, whatever the hell that means. If, if you know what that means, shit, tell me. Uh, but maybe that gives people a little bit of perspective as to what went on. Not as though I'm trying to find understanding because like I said, that's like trying to find that beautiful woman in the beer ad with the flowing goldenness that is beer. It's hard to find on the internet. So that's it for this video, guys. Uh, I appreciate a lot of people out there that tried to reach me and contact me during that break and, and give me uh, words of inspiration and motivation. And, and just um, I've received a ton of uh, emails or uh, messages from people that have said some of the most heartfelt. Um, wow, it was great stuff. So thank you to those people. And uh, yeah, I look forward to creating more content. Okay.